Uh, hello, and welcome to Shuffle Play. Uh, this is the feature where uh, I basically have all these different game libraries, I'm sure many of us do, uh, where there's maybe hundreds of games in there at this point, uh, and basically draw three at random and try them out for 15 minutes. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. And then for our final thing tonight, uh, it's actually going to be uh, something we haven't done on this stream before. Uh, I guess first I'll do the reveal, and then you'll see why. So, next up, here we go. And next up, we have... Headless Guide. Yeah, so Headless Guide uh, is a physical uh, game, actually. So I went ahead and recorded it last night just because it was a slightly different uh, recording setup. It gave me a chance to try the lavalier mic I got a little bit ago. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start the description, and then after that, I'm just going to start the video, and that'll be that. I think I'll be back at the end here just to say bye, but yeah, it'll, it'll be pre-recorded for the next 15, I believe. Um, so yeah, here's the description. It is said in Nova Scotia that when pirates decided to bury treasure, they came ashore with only a handful of men. The captain, of course, and two or three men he trusted. And one stranger. It is said that once the treasure was safely buried, the captain would ask who wanted to stay behind and guard it. In the stories, the stranger volunteers, hoping to take the treasure and run. So, the stranger is beheaded on the spot their ghost left to haunt the place and guard the treasure for centuries. According to the stories, the stranger is bound to the place now, unable to leave rest or move on, unless, of course, someone were to discover the gold they have been guarding. Unless they could find some way to convince someone, anyone, to face their fears, head out into the night, and claim the blood gold for themselves. And, on this point the stories are clear, it must be done in complete and utter silence. No matter what one encounters on the dark roads, in the woods, on the cliffs, or by the treacherous seashore, the hunter must speak not a word. If they do, the treasure, and perhaps more, is lost and the ghost is resigned to wait and guard. For what must feel to the dead soul like an eternity. Headless Guide is a game for a single person. It can be a simple solitaire card game or, if you prefer, a map-making game. Follow the spirit of the stranger to riches, if you can keep silent and keep your courage about you. Alright, yeah. So, uh, the game is called Headless Guide. And I, th I think I've decided what I'm going to do while the pre-recording is going is I'm just going to be playing a match of solitaire here. So don't mind me. I'm just going to be chilling doing this. I haven't played solitaire in a while. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get that recording going and check it out. It's it's basically just kind of a narrative experience. I, I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, and I guess, yeah, thank you to my roommate, Alicia, for uh, providing the Rugrats playing cards that made this possible. So yeah, enjoy. Hi, you're over here now. Uh, yes, we're going to be playing Headless Guide, which uh, is a physical game. So, different shot, different audio setup. So, let me just start this timer. Let's get rolling. Okay. The treasure hunt to be undertaken in the strictest silence and solitude. Single player, that's me. Okay. So, come ashore. Trusted men. Uh-huh. The treasure. And I'm beheaded. There's ghosts. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Ghosts are designed to wait and guard for a build to the dead soul like an eternity. Alright, so we gotta get the ace of diamonds out of the deck. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's a spade. Diamond. Wait, diamond. That's what we wanted. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so lay out 11 cards face down in the row, placing the ace of diamonds at the end. Okay. So I'm going to move the paper so it's not in the way anymore. 
So we're going to play 11 cards. So face up. Uh, face down. Okay. One in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think just logistically we'll we'll say this is a row, but I'm gonna have to have two of them. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and eleventh one. We'll see. We'll see if it's 12 or 11, I guess. Okay. Got a 2, 6, 10. A dice, something to write on. Uh, the map on. Choose a hunter. Read the descriptions of yourself. Picture the loneliness of the world after dark. Solve the rules in the card description. If a card asks you to roll, then roll two sided dice. You must roll lower than a certain value. A tie counts as a failure. If you want to leave a map as a record of your hunt, and draw a list to describe the card and show it connects to the previous card. That's cool. All right. Fear. Encourage. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't uh, lose courage, or this will be it. Um, okay, maybe all silence here just says something. Treasure is lost, hunt continues. Restore silence, ending a card to the path. Cannot claim the treasure while silence is zero. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be playing the hunter. Um, and there's some character classes here I see. I guess it'll be the villager. That's the first one. Starting courage four, starting silence seven. Yeah, civilization around. Never lose a proper roadway. If a heart card tells you to lose courage, ignore it. That sounds nice. Okay. Soldiers, if you want to. Uh -huh. Chosen to ignore the part about pirates, cold being blood money, carrying a curse. Okay, so. Villagers doesn't care. It'll be fine. Alright, so I think I just draw a card and that's how we start, right? And picture the loneliness of the world after dark. Resolve the rules in the card's description. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So first up, we got Ace of Clubs. And uh, yes, this is a Rugger Act uh, playing deck. Uh, actually kind of hard to find some playing cards in this house, so there we go. Um, Ace of... Oh, these are specific to the suit. That's interesting. Oh, are these all supposed to just be hearts? Um, are the cards in the path? Oh, I have to keep scrolling. Cool, all right. So Ace of Clubs. Beauty of night. Taking a deep breath, you feel your lungs with sweet forest air. Above you, the stars glimmer in the gaps between leaves and trees seem to reach down to you to caress you with their leaves as you pass. The night is beautiful, and right now it belongs exclusively to you. You may have been the only person to tread this path in ages. Do you feel at home, safe in the woods, or are you provoked to reverence at the power of the infinite darkness that surrounds you? Gain one courage or some one silence. Okay, so I am low on courage, I want to say, but I have a lot of silence. Yeah, so I'm going to add one courage. So I'm just going to write down I have five right now. What silence I have? Seven. All right, so move on to the next one. So that one went pretty well. All right, Jack Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. Okay, Silhouetted Beast. 
Your light catches a shadow just for a moment before whatever you saw darts away into darkness. It was hunched over, walked on all fours like a hound, and bristled with shaggy fur. You struggled to remember anything else, but right now you can feel its eyes on you, even though a swing of your light reveals nothing. You know it is watching. Gain one silence, lose one courage. Um, it sounded like I want to keep my silence, honestly, so... Let's add a silence, so five and eight. Feeling pretty good about that. All right. And then, jack of hearts. So we got another jack. Jack of hearts. Yeah. Stranger on the road. Your light isn't alone on the road. Ahead of you, there is a shadow, an unfamiliar silhouette carrying their own light and making their own footfalls. They too walk in silence, but you can see them turn to look at you with dark, unfamiliar eyes. No one is meant to be on the road at this hour. There is no specter. This is, like you, a living person on some grim errand. Okay, so roll under your current courage. If you do, gain one courage. If you do not, lose one. Oh, so this is where you maybe don't want to go up in the amount, is because you want to roll under your amount. Okay. Let's see. That's for rolling two. So I got a seven. My courage is five. So I lose a courage. So I'm at four now. Okay. And we got ten of clubs. All right. Stones in the path. Shadows loom alongside the path as you walk. You trade in your light on one. An old granite way marker, it looks like, long since absorbed by forest moss. It's not the only one. Strange stones just out of the earth are all around you, shining cold gray in the limited light. Is this the way? Do these stones once guide others on the same errand that now spurs you forward? Can they even be trusted? Um, okay, good. It's not. So, we're good. That last part doesn't apply. We're good. Okay, got five of hearts. Five of hearts. Road to nothing, that's love it. Uh, as you walk, there is a change in the sound of your footfalls. The darkness ahead of you is no mere shadow. It is the darkness of the void. You approach the end of your light all too soon. The road drops off steeply into a cliff about your own height. Sheer white stone glimmering against the nothingness of the road ahead. The spirit is urging you forward. I am digging this. I am digging this. This is good. It's good. Uh, roll under your current courage or lose one courage. Okay. Well, my courage fell down to four. Um, but I don't know if I can roll under that. Okay. Well, I got exactly four. Um, so I think that still means I didn't get it. So run it, roll under your current courage, or lose one courage. So I am now at three. So, oh, yeah, it's going to get harder and harder to roll under that amount, too. That's working pretty well. Okay. And two of diamonds is our next one. Two of diamonds. There we go. Narrow ledge. The ghost directs you around the edge of a ring of steep cliffs. Your foot dislodges a stone, whose tapping descent to the ground below seems to echo on the empty air. If you make any mistakes, you will surely follow. Can you swallow your fear? Can you look down from the heights without feeling yourself begin to give up? Roll under courage or lose to courage. Oh, I'm definitely losing to courage. Oh man. Yeah, got a six. So now I'm at two courage. Going great. Um, three of clubs. This is a pretty good quarantine game, gotta say. All right, three of clubs, tree gate. A pair of enormous tree bend, trees bend in towards each other, forming the shape of a perfect arch in the depth of the forest. Their trunks impossibly wide and their branches mingling against the starry sky. A thick coating of soft moss blankets them. This is, in its own way, a sacred place. You can feel the pressure of it on the air. Do you approach? 
roll under your courage if you do gain two silence. Oh, I just, I can't roll under my courage anymore. I just can't, because it's snake eyes. Okay. Alright. King of hearts. Let's see what we got. King of hearts. False dawn. The horizon over the hill is illuminated in a hazy streak of dim blue, and your heart sinks as a cold washes through you. Daybreak already? Have you failed? The thought of the sun finding you on a road in the middle of nowhere, alone now, that day has banished the ghost from your side, makes you shudder. This is not daybreak. Make no mistake, however, daylight is not far. You must carry on. Lose one courage. Okay. <laughs> I'm at one courage. Let me just double check if there's if I lose courage. If that's it, I forget. Um, mm -hmm. If the hunter's courage is reduced to zero, they abandon the hunt. Oh, okay. So if I lose courage on this next one, that's it. Okay. Jack of clubs. Black cat lurking. Ooh, kitty. A tiny shape darts out of the shadows in front of you. Slipping between the trees and bushes, uh, brushes in almost perfect silence. You catch a glimpse of a long, sleek black tail, and then it turns to look at you, yellow eyes reflecting the light. It's just a cat. It's black from nose to tail. If the sailors are right, it's not just a cat. It's an omen. It twitches its nose at you curiously before vanishing into the night. There's a rhyme you're supposed to say at a time like this. Do you remember it? Choose to lose either one courage or two silence. Okay, well, we, we can we can afford some silence. We're, we're at eight, so now we're at six. Okay, so ten of diamonds. Still in the game. Did I say diamonds? That's spades. All right, ten of spades. Boom, 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 boom. That's a spade. Ten of spades. The inky ocean. To one side of you, there is nothing but the Atlantic Ocean, infinite and dark. Your light glitters off the very surface of the water, but con uh, cannot begin to illuminate everything that is there. It looks like a field of black glass, stretching further than you can even imagine. The infinity of the ocean impresses itself on you, provokes you to a quiet, thoughtful reverence at the power that sits idly toying with the shoreline beside you. Gain two silence. Okay. Easy backup date. All right, five of diamonds. We're almost to the last card if we can survive this last encounter. All right, five of diamonds. Hard path. All it took was one false step. One moment you walked along the cliff at the ghost's urging, following the wall of heartless stones. The next pain snaps you to attention in the darkness. You've caught your foot between stones and wrenched your ankle. Can you resist crying out, swearing? Okay, we're good. We made it, because this is only silence. All right, so I got a roll under eight, and I did. And so, okay, nothing happens then. All right, we're on the final card. I'm curious what we'll get. Ace of diamonds. The treasure is found. The ghost stops you. This is it. Here among the stones lies the buried treasure. You ready your shovel and begin to work. It is buried deep, and the ground here is hard. Despite the chill of night, you feel yourself working up a sweat as you move earth and stone, placed there over a century ago, and finally you see it. The flag said to be buried with the treasure, a shimmer of white cloth under your light. Beneath that, a box. The spirit uh, behind you sighs, breaking the silence, and then is gone. As long as your hunter has courage and silence remaining, you win the game. One courage. Made it. <laughs> All right, cool. And that's Headless Guide. I have audio now. Hello, hi. Uh, yeah, so that was Headless Guide. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, update on my solitaire game. I got two stacks in and then lost on the third one. That's how solitaire goes sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in to Shuffle Play. Uh, and it seems like it's weekly.
This has been the current schedule. That might not be the case in the future, but most likely I'll see you again next Friday, 6 p.m. So have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Uh, if it's hot where you're at, please stay cool. Watch out for yourself. Watch out for others. Uh, yeah, have a good one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, like, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on various social media if that's of interest. And of course, please check out the awesome games that are being uh, played on this feature. Um, so many hours are going into this that I'm just covering for like 15 minutes. Uh, so please check those out. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time.